हेलो माय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन हेयर विद माय न्यू वीडियो ऑन एसपीसी स्टैटिस्टिकल प्रोसेस कंट्रोल फ्रेंड्स इफ़ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल येट देन प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब फर्स्ट एंड आल्सो प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई फ्यूचर वीडियोज़ सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फ्रेंड्स एज वी नो दैट देर आर फाइव को टूल्स इन आई ए टी एफ वन सिक्स नाइन फोर नाइन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन विच आर एडवांस्ड प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी प्लानिंग ए पी क्यू पी प्रोडक्शन पार्ट अप्रूवल प्रोसेस पी पैप मेजरमेंट सिस्टम एनालिसिस एम एस ए स्टेटिस्टिकल प्रोसेस कंट्रोल एस पी सी एंड फेलियर मोड एंड इफेक्ट एनालिसिस एफ एम ई ए सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट एस पी सी स्टेटिस्टिकल प्रोसेस कंट्रोल वट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एस पी सी विलियम ए शेवर डेवलप्ड द कंट्रोल चार्ट एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट ए प्रोसेस कुड बी इन स्टेटिस्टिकल कंट्रोल इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फोर एट बेल लेबोरेटरीज द एस पी सी वॉज मेड फेमस ड्यूरिंग वर्ल्ड वार टू एंड इट वॉज मच यूज बाई मिलिट्री स्टेटिस्टिकल मैथड फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इज वेरी फेमस बुक बाई विलियम ए शेवर्ट After that, Japanese manufacturing companies picked up the SPC, and they are using nowadays also. So this was the history of SPC. Now let's talk about what is SPC. SPC is the method of quality control by measuring and monitoring the manufacturing process. In this methodology, data is collected in the form of attribute and variables. Also, we have to collect reading from various machines and various product dimensions as per requirement. This data is used for monitoring and controlling the process. It is the tool to improve the quality of product by reducing variation. SPC manual is published by the Automotive Industry Action Group (AIAG), which is used by almost all automotive industries for reference. As per Dr. Shaver, two sources of variation are there. First is chance variation, and second is assignable variation or uncontrolled variation. Then Dr. Deming gave a new name to chance variation as common cause variation, and assignable variation as a special cause variation. What will be the advantages of SPC? This is very important to reduce scrap, rework, and warranty claims. to increase productivity to decrease manual inspection to reduce cost of poor quality and to reduce customer complaints these all are the advantages of spc so friends first of all we have need to understand what is the meaning of spc statistical process control is combination of three words statistical process and control First of all we will understand about what is statistical the statistical tool is used to make a prediction of the operation statistics is the science which deals with a collection summarization analysis and drawing information from the data simply we can say that taking decision on the basis of few samples after selecting from population next is what is process it converts input resources into desired output products and services it involves a man machine tool material method environment and management working together to produce desired output next is what is control controlling process and comparing actual performance against set target then identifying when and what corrective actions are necessary to achieve the target So friends it is very important for us to understand where to use SPC it would be more beneficial to apply this tool to that area where unnecessary waste is generated some examples of manufacturing waste are rework scrap and reinspection time we can implement SPC for the critical characteristics of the design or operation such as critical to quality so friends in the concept of spc we have need to know the difference between defect and defective what is defect a defect is any item or service that exhibits a departure from specification for example component having welding defect such as overwelding distortion etc and what is defective 
A defective is an item or service that is considered completely unacceptable for use. For example, before final shipment, a quality inspector evaluates auto supply parts and rates each item as pass or fail to ensure that company does not ship any parts that will be unusable. So it is very important to understand about critical to quality which is CTQ. So what is CTQ? Critical to quality characteristics are defined as a critical part requirement specified on the engineering document, typically a drawing, specification or performance requirement. A critical process requirement that is identified by customer, for example welding. Critical characteristics are the features that have greater significance and most affect the outcome of a product or process. Customer expects supply to address all CTQs in the control plan and that robust process controls are in place to ensure product conformance. Control may require the supplier to perform the capability studies or implement POCA UK techniques which are mistake proofing. Customer will identify CTQs in two manners either on oblong or rectangle or will bound a feature of design record. So friends, in SPC it is very important to understand about measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion. What is measure of central tendency? A measure of central tendency is a summary statistics that represents the center point or typical value of data set. These measures indicate where most values in a distribution fall and also refer to as the central location of a distribution. In statistics, the three most common measures of central tendency which are mean, median and mode and mean is one of them which is widely used in SPC. What is measure of dispersion? The measure of dispersion indicates the scattering of data. It explains the disparity of data from one another delivering a precise view of the distribution of data. Some measures of dispersions are range, standard deviation, variance and coefficient of variance. And standard deviation is one of them which is mostly used as a measure of dispersion in SPC. So friends, let's move to the next types of data. Friends, there are two types of data which are used in SPC. First one is variable data which is also known as continuous data and second one is attribute data which is also known as discrete data variable data is a data by measurement for example product dimensions weight time cost product parameters such as current voltage gas flow and feed and attribute data is a data by counting for example count of defective parts from production and number of chips on painted part so these were the types of data which is used in SPC. So friends sometime it happens in SPC due to wrong data we can't get the better results and what will be the causes of wrong data that should we know. First one is selection of wrong instruments. Second one is lack of knowledge and awareness. Third one is improper calibration. Fourth one is incorrect sampling. Fifth one is lack of standards and sixth one is improper test facilities. So these were the causes of wrong data. So friends let's move to the next what is variation. The law of variation is defined as the difference between an ideal and an actual situation. Variation is most often encountered as a change in data, expected outcomes or slight change in production quality. No two things can be common naturally even two twins. So friends there are some sources of variation due to which the process can get affected and these sources of variation will be man, machine, material, method, mother nature and measurement. What are the causes of variation? There are two types of causes of variation. First is common cause and second is special cause. If I will talk about common cause, process under influence of common cause will always be stable and repeatable. 
कॉमन कोज विल ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इन प्रोसेस इन कॉमन कोज आउटपुट ऑफ प्रोसेस विल बी प्रिडिक्टेबल ऑलमोस्ट एटी फाइव ऑफ द टोटल कोजेस आर कॉमन कोजेस एंड इन कॉमन कोज प्रोसेस इज सेट टू बी अंडर स्टेटिस्टिकल कंट्रोल एंड इफ आई विल टॉक अबाउट द स्पेशल कोज प्रोसेस अंडर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ स्पेशल कोज विल नॉट बी स्टेबल एंड रिपीटेबल स्पेशल कोज नोट ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इन ए प्रोसेस इन स्पेशल कोज आउटपुट ऑफ प्रोसेस विल नॉट बी प्रिडिक्टेबल ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन ऑफ द टोटल कोजेस आर स्पेशल कोज एंड इन स्पेशल कोज प्रोसेस इज सेट टू बी आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल सो फ्रेंड्स इन एस पी सी इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कंट्रोल चार्ट वट इज़ कंट्रोल चार्ट इट इज़ ए स्टेटिस्टिकल टूल यूज टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन प्रोसेस वेरिएशन रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम कॉमन कोज एंड स्पेशल कोज द कंट्रोल चार्ट इन सेवन क्यू सी टूल्स इज ए टाइप ऑफ रन चार्ट यूज फॉर स्टडिंग द प्रोसेस वेरिएशन ओवर टाइम कंट्रोल चार्ट मेजर द वेरिएशन एंड शो इट टू यू ग्राफिकली एंड वी कैन ईजली से दैट इट इज विद इन एक्सेप्टेबल लिमिट और नोट मैनी प्रोसेस कैन बी ट्रैक बाई दिस ग्राफ लाइक डिफेक्ट्स प्रोडक्शन टाइम इन्वेंट्री ऑन हैंड कोस्ट पर यूनिट एंड अदर मैट्रिक्स ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज दिस ग्राफ टू मेजर नॉन मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस लाइक बिलिंग एरर्स मिस्ड अपॉइंटमेंट्स कस्टमर सपोर्ट कॉल्स बिल पेमेंट ड्यूज ऑन टाइम डिलीवरी फेलियर एट्सेट्रा सो फ्रेंड्स ए शेवट कंट्रोल चार्ट लुक्स लाइक दिस ए कंट्रोल चार्ट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट टारगेट लाइन लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट एंड वाई एक्सिस रिप्रजेंट्स द सैम्पल क्वालिटी करैक्टिस्टिक्स एंड एक्स एक्सिस रिप्रजेंट्स द सैम्पल नंबर और टाइम सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट हाउ टू रीड कंट्रोल चार्ट फर्स्ट इज आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल लिमिट्स कंट्रोल लिमिट्स विल बी यू सी एल एंड एल सी एल अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट एंड लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट्स If data points will be out of these limits then process is said to be out of control friends in control chart if seven point length of run is abnormal then process is said to be out of control and also if 10 out of 11 consecutive points occurring on one side is abnormal then process is also will be out of control friends in control chart if there will be seven upward points and also there will be drastic downward trend then the process will set to be out of control friends in this control chart you can see that from target line to the control limits control chart is divided into three sigma lines which is one sigma two sigma and three sigma if these data points are approaching to the control limits two out of three points then the process will set to be out of control you can see here if the data points are approaching to the center line of the sigma lines then process is set to be out of control in this situation and also the process will be out of control if the data points will be in variation periodically Let's move to the next how to choose control chart it is very important to know we can choose the control chart on the basis of data which is variable data and attribute data in variable data if sample size will be equal to 1 then we have to use the xmr chart if the sample size will be greater than 2 and less than 9 then we have to use x bar r chart and if the sample size will be equal to or greater than 10 then we have to use x bar s chart and in attribute data we have to choose the control chart on the basis of defectives and defects in defectives if there will be equal subgroup size then we have to use np chart and if there will be different subgroup size then we have to use p chart and in case of defects if the subgroup size will be equal then we have to use c chart and if the subgroup size will be different then we have to use u chart this is aiag table for constants which are used in control charts to calculate the control limits 
and you can see here there are different constants which are according to the different subgroup size and here constants are available for x bar and r charts and x bar and s chart so friends thanks for watching my video if you really like this video then please do like and share with your friends and colleagues and also subscribe to my youtube channel and press on the bell icon to get the notification about second part of this video